it really starts putting you in this kind of mindset where you start to think, oh, I guess I kind of deserve this kind of behavior. I deserve to be treated like this or this is simply my role in the relationship um, to, I don't know if you want to call it call it serve them i have been in a previous relationship where they expected me to serve them like how you would serve a king and i was spoken to very disrespectfully and pretty much most of my human rights were taken away, such as the ability to be able to talk to friends, family, candidly about the unsafe situation that I was in. I was unable to go out with coworkers. I was unable to choose the name that I wanted for myself because I had just come to America from Korea um, I was unable to choose where I lived I was unable to choose the clothes I wore and I was also unable to choose whether or not I wanted to suck in my stomach that was all chosen for me and if I didn't suck in my stomach when I was in public, I would hear, Suck in your stomach! Because I am a little bit more of a plumper bear telling me to suck in my stomach. You guys, that kind of behavior, that kind of tone is never okay. Whether it's in relationships and whether it's in our work life, whether it's in our family, or whatever, it's never okay. And once you start accepting it, the person will see that as permission to keep on doing it. Coming to America stripped away my rights completely, in a sense. It caused a power imbalance in the relationship. And it just became like a cult. It became unsafe. At first, it was just verbal and psychological warfare. Just simply financial abuse. But you guys... That does lead to physical as well, eventually. So if you guys are in an unsafe relationship, I strongly urge you to seek measures. Just talk to someone. Just let someone know. And I was so scared to let anyone know of my issues in the relationship because I just really had no one. I became an island where I couldn't rely on anyone for advice. Coming to America, I mean, I had <clears throat> lived in America when I was young, so I do did know how to speak English, but... Other than that, it was a complete, like, culture shock. Just a betrayal because the person that I trusted the most had now turned me into a slave. And just putting me to work so that they can have all of the financial benefits without giving me any rights as a human being. 
And that's what it turns into. If you keep on enabling them, that's what it turns into. Because I can be like, oh, it was all of their fault. There was a lot of their fault. And they admitted that as well. They admitted that it had become very unsafe for me. And the best thing for me, according to Reddit, I guess, they went and read a bunch of stuff on Reddit that sounded very similar to our dynamics. And they admitted that the best thing for me is to go and live my own life and have my own freedom. But I also accept that I was not perfect. And um, I don't want to blame myself that, well, you know, it was all because of my enabling. But I think I could have set stronger boundaries, had a little more self-respect for myself, and not just think that I have to blindly follow some other person's leadership I think there were a lot of things that could have been done on both sides but regardless whether the other person is enabling you or not it's never okay to speak and act like that to another human being because we need to treat them with respect now when there is one weaker person in the relationship and another stronger person, and the stronger person wants to take the lead on the finances, then that pretty much just becomes the weaker person giving all of their earnings to them, and the stronger person, you know, figures it out. That kind of relationship can be very toxic as well. Because once you're stripped of your financial freedom, you become pretty much powerless. So, these things don't just happen within one day. It's not just um, one day everything just changes. I think it's really, it happens very slowly. Um, for me, a drastic change was when we came to America. And that was a big, big change. Especially if the other person going to the foreign country is settled in first. And then, let's say, the person with a little bit of a weaker personality comes to that new country afterwards, maybe like a few months afterwards. By then, that stronger personality has already settled in. So they're going to have no trouble bossing the weaker person around. They're going to feel right at home, depending on, of course, their personality traits. And... I take full responsibility that I just need to be very careful if anyone tries to breach those boundaries. I need to be able to enforce them and I need to have a good character, a good judge of character and also a good character too, of course, myself. And you guys just watch people carefully because once they show you who you are, you should believe them. There's only so much that you can do to make excuses for them. And I am so, so grateful that Coco and I are safe and we don't need to worry about someone yelling at us, etc. Whether it's at home, whether it's at work, whether it's 
anyone else for that matter. So that's our little message for today. Coco, did you have anything you wanted to add? No. Coco says, Mommy said enough. Mommy talked for enough. Talked for a very long time today. Good job, Coco. <laughs>